So here's the water park guys. All the slides. Let's go for a bit of a look around. Might even jump in for a quick swim. Alright guys, so we are here back at Aquatopia, the water park. Look at those stingrays. Alright, how do we get in? Guess let's just walk straight through here, I guess. Hello. Thank you. Okay. All right. Really good if you have kids, you can bring your kids here. Look at all these little things that they can jump in. Have fun with. Let's have a walk around this water park, show you guys what it's like. Wow, look at that. You can jump on these raft things and just float on down. That's so cool, man. Look at those peeps over there. <laughs> he splashed out. Whoa, look at that skeleton head. The skull. Missing teeth right there. Whoa, check out that slide. You can jump on it and it just shoots you right down. More of the floating river. Oh, that's the guy that splashed out right there. More peeps on the floating river. Look at that snake twirling around there. It's pretty cool, man. Look at all those big tubes here. Tube rides. And a massive tube ride right there. Damn, look at all the tubes over there. So many tube rides around here. Whoa, another ride. Where is everybody? Why aren't they using it? No one's on the tubes. This is where this one ends. Man, my fams, nephews, the kids would love this place. This place would be awesome. They'll be here for a week in this place, man. And there's hardly anyone here. So you can actually get in here as part of the 450,000 dong price, which works out to be about, I think it's 28 New Zealand dollars. That gets you on the gondolas here, the cable car here, to the beach, the buggies, into the water park. It's a pretty good deal. Ah, so check that out. Up there is like a green raft. And so the green raft gets shot through here and comes up around down and comes out here right here man that'll be pretty cool another long ride but oh, where are all the kids man this place is empty no one here on these rides look at all the rides and all the funny looking Statues and structures. Another massive ride over here. Look at this octopus. Massive structures, man. Whoa, check out that structure. Hammerhead shark. Oh, some peeps are going up here onto the slide twirls around there comes down and ends down there I wonder what's over here looks like artificial waves 
I guess it's a good place for the kids to get used to swimming in the beach. With all these artificial waves here. Nice, good for the kids. Let's see what's over here. So they also got shops. This one's closed. This one's treats and sweets. Yeah, it's pretty much closed. No ice creams in that one. Another slide. That one looks like a raft slide. You jump on one of these yellow rafts. All right, so it looks like these yellow rafts go up there. You jump on them at the top and then you take the green tube to come all the way down and out here. It's pretty cool. It looks like Medusa and that looks like Poseidon or is that Aquaman? Anyway, it looks fun. My nephews, nieces and the kids will love this. The fans will love this place. Or someone coming down? Let's see. Let's see them splash out over here. Looks fun. There's another one. So you can go down the yellow tube and you come out this side. That's pretty cool. Time for an ice cream. These are like about a dollar fifty for a Maritz type ice cream here. Usually they're about 80 cents, but here they're a dollar fifty. And in New Zealand I think they're something like three or four dollars, so dollar fifty is not too bad here. Especially at a place like this. Anyway, let's chillax a little. Beautiful place, man. I think this place will be really fantastic for uh, the nieces, nephews, and the fams. All the slides. You will definitely need to be here for the whole day to experience all the rides. There's just so many. It's kind of like five times bigger than uh, Waiwera Park back in uh, Orewa, even though that place doesn't exist anymore. But. Um, Beautiful. All right, guys, we are going to leave the water park. It's been an awesome day checking out uh, the beach here and also this amazing water park and the cable car ride i think is magnificent so everything today costs four hundred fifty thousand dong which is around i think about 28 new zealand dollars or about 20 us dollars which is a really good deal usually it's three hundred thousand dong which is around 18 19 new zealand dollars but the price has gone up now i guess because of peak time but it's well worth it. 
for this water park you actually need a whole day to experience it and uh, definitely next time I'm going to bring the, uh, the kids, the nieces, the nephews here I think it's going to be amazing, they'll love it here they'll need the whole day jumping on all the rides and slides and the pools and then they've got like the floating river thing which is really good it's a 2k floating river man awesome and I actually I was about to jump in there but they go oh 20 more minutes until closing I'm going what come on man so I'm gonna definitely come back and uh, we'll catch it another time anyway guys I am going to head to the cable car right now but then I'm thinking hang on a minute I was gonna head back to town and actually uh, catch the sunset at the beach in town but I thought why don't I catch the last cable car at 5 30 and get that sunset which is around 5 45 so I think that's the best thing to do is to try and be the last person to get the cable car at 5 30 and we'll catch the sunset from the cable car exit that away should be able to just walk straight out don't need to scan anything hopefully beep beep all right let's head slowly back to the cable car and i think it'll be better if we catch the last cable car so we can get the sunset i don't think much people know that there's going to be a sunset on the last cable car but when you research like me you find out all those little things all right, and we'll say peace to these guys.